Have you ever wondered how the world might change if Donald Trump won another term as the President of the United States? The political landscape of the globe is a complex tapestry, and the threads of American influence run deep. Take a moment to recall the four years from 2017 to 2021, when Donald Trump first held the highest office in the land. It was a time of intense change and reaction, both within America and across the world. The global community watched with bated breath as policies and decisions were made, each with its own ripple effect on international relations. Consider the shift in environmental policy, for instance. The decision to withdraw from the Paris Climate Agreement sent shockwaves around the globe. It was a move that challenged the collective global response to climate change, a problem that knows no borders. Then there was the trade war with China, a power play that reverberated in economies worldwide. The imposition of tariffs not only affected the economic dynamics between the two superpowers, but also had a profound impact on global trade patterns. And let's not forget the controversial decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, a move that sparked outrage and protests in various parts of the world. These are but a few examples of how decisions made in the White House can have far-reaching implications. The global interconnectedness of today's world means that a policy shift in one country can cause a domino effect in others. So, with the possibility of a second Trump term, the world once again finds itself on the brink of potential change. How would this impact the global community? And more specifically, what could this mean for countries like the Philippines, a nation with a long history of ties with the United States? Let us now narrow down our focus to one particular country, the Philippines. In the following scenes, we'll delve deeper into how a Trump victory might shape the future of this archipelagic nation. So sit back, relax, and let's embark on this journey together. Keep wondering, how has Trump's presidency affected the Philippines in the past? This is a question that opens up a rich tapestry of historical events, interwoven with political decisions and strategic alliances. The historical relationship between the United States and the Philippines during Trump's presidency was marked by a blend of cooperation and contention. It was a dance between two nations, each with its own agenda, striving to balance their interests and obligations. In the early days of Trump's presidency, a significant event was the reaffirmation of the Mutual Defense Treaty of 1951. This treaty bound the United States and the Philippines to support each other in case of an armed attack, strengthening the military alliance between the two nations. Furthermore, Trump's administration also saw a strengthening of economic ties. The Philippines benefited from improved market access and increased foreign direct investment from the United States. These economic linkages played a significant role in the growth and development of the Philippine economy during Trump's tenure. However, it wasn't all smooth sailing. There were disputes, particularly over human rights issues. The Trump administration's criticism of the Philippine government's war on drugs sparked controversy and tension. It was a period of diplomatic unease, with both nations navigating the choppy waters of international relations. Yet, despite these disputes, the overall relationship remained largely positive. Both nations understood the value of their strategic partnership and the shared history and cultural ties that bind them together. It was a relationship that survived the test of time and the challenges of a rapidly changing global landscape. Understanding this history, we can now explore the potential implications of another Trump presidency. The past is, after all, a mirror reflecting the possibilities of the future. So let's delve deeper into this intriguing topic in the next segment, where we will discuss the economic relations between the United States and the Philippines. What could a Trump presidency mean for the economic relations between the United States and the Philippines? Well, let's dive into that. The United States and the Philippines have a long-standing economic relationship with the U.S. playing a significant role in the Philippine economy. Over the years, the two countries have formed numerous trade agreements and economic policies that have shaped their economic relations. If Donald Trump were to win the U.S. presidential election, there could be potential changes to these agreements and policies. 
Trump's America First policy, for instance, could lead to a re-evaluation of current trade agreements in favor of those that are more beneficial to the U.S. This could mean renegotiations or even the dissolution of existing agreements with the Philippines. In terms of economic policies, Trump's administration has been known for its aggressive stance on trade tariffs. If this policy continues, the Philippines, as a significant trading partner, could potentially face higher tariffs on its exports to the U.S. This could impact various sectors of the Philippine economy, particularly those that heavily rely on exports to the United States. However, it's not all gloom and doom. Trump's business-friendly policies, such as corporate tax cuts, could attract more U.S. companies to invest in the Philippines. This could lead to job creation and economic growth in the country. Moreover, the Philippines' growing economy might be seen as an attractive investment destination for U.S. businesses seeking to expand their global footprint. This potential increase in foreign direct investment could spur economic development and strengthen the economic ties between the two nations. So, you see, a Trump presidency could bring about changes in the economic relations between the U.S. and the Philippines. These changes could have both positive and negative implications, depending on various factors such as the specifics of the new policies and the resilience of the Philippine economy. Economic relations are just one aspect. Let's explore the potential political implications. How might Trump's presidency influence the political relations between the United States and the Philippines? Now imagine this. A world where the political landscape is ever-changing and the ripple effects of a presidential election halfway across the globe can have profound implications. In the case of the Philippines, the potential impact of a Trump administration would be significant. Trump's foreign policy has always been one of America first, a stance that could potentially reshape the diplomatic relations between the United States and the Philippines. This policy places the interests of the United States at the forefront of all its international dealings. It prioritizes American jobs, American security, and American families. While this approach could mean a shift in resources away from international aid and towards domestic projects, it could also lead to a stronger focus on strategic partnerships that benefit the United States, such as a strengthened alliance with the Philippines. The Philippines, being strategically located in Southeast Asia, could play a crucial role in Trump's foreign policy. The country's proximity to China and its contentious territorial disputes in the South China Sea could position it as a vital ally for the United States in the region. This could potentially lead to increased military cooperation, more significant security commitments, and a stronger diplomatic alliance between the two nations. On the flip side, Trump's America First policy might lead to a reduction in the aid and support that the United States provides to the Philippines. This could potentially compel the Philippines to seek alliances and partnerships elsewhere, thus diversifying its political and economic ties. And let's not forget about the potential impact on the Philippine political landscape. The Trump administration's policies and actions could influence the direction of Philippine politics, potentially leading to shifts in policy and strategic alliances. Now that we've looked at the potential economic and political implications, it's time to wrap up our discussion. As the world continues to evolve and change, so too will the political relations between nations. The key is to understand these changes and adapt accordingly. So remember, keep your eyes open, your mind sharp, and always keep wondering. So is the Philippines in good hands if Donald Trump wins the U.S. presidential election? Let's take a quick trip down memory lane. We began this exploration from a global perspective, where we examined the worldwide implications of a hypothetical Trump presidency. We dove into the tumultuous waters of international politics, and how these ripples could potentially reach the shores of the Philippines. Our journey then led us through the annals of history to understand the political and economic ties between the United States and the Philippines. We discovered a relationship that has been forged and tested through time, from the colonial era, through the Second World War, and into the present day. We then turned our focus to the economic relations between the two nations. 
we weighed the potential impacts of Trump's economic policies on the Philippine economy. From trade deals to foreign investments, we uncovered a web of interconnections that could either bolster or strain the economic relations between the two countries. Next, we delved into the political relations, the mutual defense treaty, and the shared democratic ideals that bind these two nations together. We pondered over the potential impact of Trump's America First policy and how it could reshape the geopolitical landscape. So, where does all of this leave the Philippines? The potential implications are wide-ranging and complex. On one hand, there are potential benefits such as strengthened military ties and increased economic cooperation. On the other hand, there are challenges such as potential shifts in trade policies and geopolitical dynamics. In essence, the Philippines' fortunes under a Donald Trump presidency would largely hinge on how it navigates these potential benefits and challenges. It's a delicate balancing act, one that requires a careful and strategic approach. In conclusion, the potential implications of Trump's presidency on the Philippines could be wide-ranging and complex, involving both potential benefits and challenges. Subscribe for more amazing content and keep wondering. Don't miss out on future explorations and discoveries. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our new content. Your journey of wonder continues with every video. Stay connected and engaged on social media. Continue the conversation, follow us. Thank you for being a part of the Have You Ever Wondered community. Keep wondering, keep discovering. Until next time.